So this is on page three, correct, of 9.6 notes. Solve the right triangle, round answer to the nearest decimal. What does it mean when we want to solve a right triangle? Find all sides and angles. So remember yesterday I said you need to list them and make them very easily for me to see um, because I'm not going searching for your answers. So let's look at what's missing here. We're missing one side, which technically you could say is C because they labeled it as C. But if you want to stay in practice, the correct way on like a test would be to name the actual side. So the length of AB. What else do we not know? Yeah, so the measure of angle B, and we don't know the measure of angle A. So that is our goal, to find these three things. Which one do we want to solve for first? Let's draw the side. So we're missing a side, and we're given two sides. How do we find the third side in a right triangle? Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Which of these is the hypotenuse? You know, C So then, oop, 3 squared plus 2 squared. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is pl 9 plus 4 is 13. Equals C squared. You want to get C by itself. What is the opposite of squaring? Square rooting. So the length of C is 3.6. So remember to write it in where all of your answers will be. 3.6. All right, which angle do we want to solve for first? Sure, from B, you want to label the sides that you know or the sides that you were given. Because remember, we rounded a 3.6. We could have also been wrong. So we want to use the 2 and 3. What kind of side is 2? Opposite and 3 is adjacent. And that would be tangent from B equals the opposite 2 over the adjacent 3. B is attached to tangent, so how do I get rid of tangent? The inverse, so hit shift tangent, and this will pop up in your calculator. Then type in 2 over 3, and what do we get? 13.7. 33. 33. 33.7, just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> well, I looked over and my computer says lost connection, try reconnecting. So I was trying to just hurry up and finish the problem, but I'm going to pause. All right, so let's find angle A. So we're going to do the same thing, use the sides we know. Um, which one is now my opposite? Three. Three. And then two is now adjacent. Which trig ratio are we going to use? Tangent from A will equal the opposite 3 over the adjacent 2. Get tangent by itself. Sorry, get angle A by itself. So use the inverse shift tangent of 3 over 2. And what do we get? 56.3. Wonderful. So the bottom section, let angle H be an acute angle. Use a calculator to approximate the measure of angle H to the nearest tenth of the degree. This does not require showing any work. You just use the inverse in your calculator. So 3 sine of H equals 0.2. So you want to use the inverse of sine to get H by itself. So shift sine of 0.2. And what do we get? Round it to the nearest tenth. 11.5. You don't have to write the word about. It's just that's what the key says. Number four, shift tangent of one, 45. Okay. Number five, cosine of h equals 0.33. So shift cosine of 0.33. 70.7. And then sine of angle h equals 0.89. So shift sine of 0.89 and we get? 62.9. Good. Don't turn the page. You're actually going to draw at the bottom here. 
There's like, there's room, right? Yeah, there's room. Um, you're going to draw this picture. I realized after yesterday that we hadn't solved the right triangle that gave you one side and one angle, mostly because you already know how to do this, uh, but we're going to practice it anyways. So we've got a triangle, TRS, with 24 degrees and 33 degrees. Yes, that's why you already know how to do this, because finding an angle, sorry, finding a side using an angle and a side was all what we learned in the last test, and then finding angle T, you just, you know, subtract from 180. So we've got three things missing, the measure of angle T, we're also missing the length of RT, and the length of TS. So we're going to find all three of those. Like Alana was saying, you know the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So you've got 90 and 24, so you can add those. So 90 plus 24 is 114, subtract from 180 and we get 66. Option two is to know what does T and S, what do they add up to? 90. So you can just do 90 minus 24 and you still get the same answer. But both, they're the same thing. All right. And then we're going to solve for the sides. You want to solve for the sides using a trig ratio because you have an angle and a side um, at the beginning. So we've got an angle 24. What kind of side is 33? Adjacent. So which one do we want to find first, TR or TS? RT. RT sounds good. What kind of side is that? Opposite. So we're going to use tangent from 24 degrees equals the opposite over the adjacent. Do I need to flip this one? No. no, just multiply times 33. So the opposite equals 13, 14.7, sorry. All right, and then the last thing to find is the hypotenuse. So again, use the side they gave you, the angle they gave you, and the hypotenuse. So which trig ratio are we going to use? Cosine from 24 equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Will I need to flip this one? I will. 1 over cosine 24 equals h over 33. Then multiply by 33. Mm -hmm. 36.1. Wonderful. So on the back page, you're going to answer it. You're going to show the work and answer it, and then I'll check it.